What's good, YouTube? Today we're going to be covering the top eight deck lists from the latest Edison Format WCQ over in Format Library. If you didn't catch the stream, we did stream the Swiss rounds from that event uh, last weekend, I think it was. So that was a, a solid seven-hour marathon of Edison gameplay. So if you, if you missed that, definitely go check that out. But today, of course, we're going to be looking at the decks that made top eight at the event, uh, starting with first place here. Starting with first place, we have Black Wings, which um, Black Wings kind of kind of took the place of Vayu Turbo uh, in terms of being the overperforming bird deck at this event. At least it kind of looked like uh, from what I saw glancing at the top eight decks. So first place going to Black Wings this time. Um, this build looks pretty much completely normal. Yeah, not a lot to say about it. I mean. Not a lot ever to say about Black Wings. Pretty much everyone plays two Bayou now, I think. Um, yeah, the second Bayou definitely comes up, so I, I can see that in uh, in pure Black Wing. Then no mind control, I guess. Uh, they're on the Legacies of Yada. They're on the one Oppression. They're on one Dust Tornado main. But yeah, I mean, nothing interesting ever to say about Black Wing decks usually. So it's hard to... Yeah, I mean, it's pretty standard. They always... They always tend to be these days, unless it's some, like, crazy hybrid thing with triple deck dev in the main deck. Like, shout out to Sunny, but, um, yeah. First place, Black Wings, B-Rod, nice job. Uh, second place, we got, we got my boy Fitz, my teammate. He done it again. He done it again. He's killing it. He's absolutely killing it with this, uh, this Diva Zombie Instant Fusion build that he's been playing lately. Which, uh, I think is personally, I, I think this is the optimal uh instant fusion zombie lists um i'm not saying the krebon stuff is bad necessarily i just think divas are slightly better um so his build is actually okay so he's on gale i guess just wanting another tuner to use with the instant fusion it is weird that he would play gale i mean it's like slightly weird that you would play gale without going double tomato sangan um, maybe that's a little odd, but then again, it's like you do want to max out on Turtle for, like, stuff like Book of Life. Um, just to have the most zombie targets possible. Um, but with Gale, plus Triple Kai's, plus Double Diva, you've got a lot of things to use with Instant Fusion. He's also on Card Trooper, which is a card that zombies don't typically play. However, it's just, like, a really good, generic, good stuff kind of card, so you can, you can definitely see it. It could get a zombie in the grave for Book of Life. It could mill a Mizuki or a Plague, if you're lucky. Um, so, yeah, and then, as you mentioned, he is on the Divas. Uh, obviously, um, Diva's really good. <laughs> Diva's really good. If you got a goblin zombie on the field from floating with recruiter, you summon deep sea Diva. A lot of times that's just game over. Uh, let's see, on Gores and Trag, of course, um, very good cards and zombies, especially, uh, the recruiter package, we already mentioned, triple turtle, one tomato, and then just all the good zombies, uh, double book of life, allure, two instant fusion. I think two instant fusion's a good number. Um, yeah, I mean, you, you, it literally has a hard ones per turn on it, too. So I think I think two is a just fine number for it's like You just want to see one, basically. So, uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of double as a ratio. I mean, triple triple just seems like a lot, you know, especially if you're playing multiple Book of Lives, too. It's just like a lot of cards that all lose to the same sort of thing and are kind of awkward to get. Yeah, I don't know. He's on the Mind Con and the Brain Con and Heavy MST and then just a bunch of trap cards. Double Dust Tornado. That's a lot of Dust Tornado. I gotta say, I guess Dust Tornado isn't too bad against frogs necessarily these days. It depends on the build, but I mean, it's okay to snipe their end phase, uh, their traps in the end phase. And then, yeah, of course, I got that return from the different dimension and all the other staples. Uh, so very sick, very solid. Oh, he's on Doom Kaiser. I don't know if Fitz used to play Doom Kaiser. Um, yeah. Uh, and the instant fusion targets are Reaper and the level 4 guy, which makes sense. Those are pretty much the two you want to go with. Looks like no Arcanite shenanigans going on in here, though. I guess that is a little bit notable. All right, so that's Fitz's build. Very solid, very, very good player, very awesome build. Uh, congratulations to Fitz. Shout out to Fitz, subscribe to Fitz, etc. Uh, next up in third place, we've got Dragon Turbo. This deck's been been doing pretty well lately. Um, I think it's seen a pretty sizable uptick in representation from what I've seen. I've just been seeing Dragon Turbo like a lot more than I used to. Um, not not it's like not just Ghost Rider anymore. It's like I just I go into random games in an event. And I see just people I've never even heard of playing Dragon Turbo. Um, so here we got OG ninety nine. This is his build. It kind of looks like Ghost Rider's build from. God, I don't even remember. It was what's the tournament before this? Like Ribbit or something? Did Ghost Rider play Dragon Turbo there? 
He had a build with no Morphing Jar and two Vortex Trooper, I'm pretty sure. And all these ratios look like Ghost Rider ratios. I think two Instant Fusion, one Avarice is what what he does. And then the one Flambeau Guard, um, just the Tragodia. Yeah, it looks very Ghost Rider-y to me. It actually almost just looks like a net deck. Is this a net deck? It might be. It might be a net deck. It might be a Ghost Rider net deck. But hey, if you're going to net deck someone on Dragon Turbo, I think that's a... It's a pretty good choice. Um, so yeah, Dragon Turbo definitely a deck to be to be watching out for, to be afraid of, for sure in the current Edison format meta. I've been talking about how this deck gets any more prevalent. I think we really could, we just got to start siding some pre, you know, start siding some like some obnoxious like anti spell fragrance or whatever. Just screw you, Dragon Turbo players. All right. Um, so yeah, third place Dragon Turbo. Nice job to OG ninety nine. Fourth place we got Diva Hero. Exciting. Um, uh, definitely always a cool deck to see uh to see make top cut makes top cut fairly often i mean not as much as some of the other stuff here but it's never surprising to see diva hero in top cut for short um so let's see the, the monster lineup looks very standard we're on triple caius triple diva one gilman two mali dad greffer uh the same yeah the, the hero lineup with double prodigy you got the plague spreader the sangan to search out the diva and the tree worn to send off future fusion For spells we got brain mind allure rota uh future fusion the trap lineup is a little bit unusual i think dimensional prison and legacy of yada garasu definitely not cards you see super often um return is pretty frequently played at this point though i think uh the side though the side is the real sauce here right because this this guy is just siding into hero beat just like full can you stop interrupting <laughs> all right we got rid of the cats there are no more cats for the remainder of the video uh what was i saying oh yeah the the side deck this guy's just full smoke screens into diva hero beat like there is no there's no hate there is nothing but just a full on smoke screen going on here um so that's kind of interesting i wonder what matchups oh i know what matchups you do this for. you do it for black wings probably <laughs> that's probably the main thing um what other matchups is it like worth it i mean if you just run into like some gladiator beast or or maybe some kind of stun deck that would make sense um yeah i don't know i don't know if this this kind of thing is something I would do. Personally, I'm never really a fan of the the smokescreen strats. I think I think it's kind of cheesy. I think you would rather have the targeted hate. But it is interesting to see every now and then when it does uh it does make it into top cut. I don't think we've seen one of these in a while. Um, the last one I remember looking at was some like Vayu Vayu Lightsworn thing um, where they switched from Lightsworn to Vayu Turbo. Um, or to like light sworn by you or something that was like that's like two years ago that has been a while um so pretty cool to see this uh this making top cut definitely an interesting strategy um so you know there was a lot of blackwing in top cut so i definitely i definitely think this might have been a useful thing in um in terms of those matchups so yeah uh, congratulations to king war next up we got i i was mentioning lots of blackwing in top cut so here's another one um this build is like pretty similar to the <laughs> to the one before. It's I mean, it's more of a hybrid one actually. Okay, okay. They got a third value with one dark aggressor. They also have gores and deck dev. Okay, that's a little weird. It's like it's like halfway to hybrid. It's like hybrid hybrid. <laughs> does that make does that make sense? Does does anyone? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. They got triple Ryko on the side too, which is pretty odd. I don't know what the plan there is, but yeah, I guess this is a more noteworthy Blackwing build than we usually see. What is what exactly is going on with the 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 halfway high? I mean, it's probably fine. It's not that weird. It's not that weird. It's just like you go. We we just got one deck dev with one dark greffer and the third Vayu and Gores. Gores with double whirlwind and oppression is kind of strange, but. Hey, maybe it comes up. Maybe people just, like, don't respect it and they play into it, which, I mean, probably the case with Black Wings, but then again, maybe the people are right to not respect it because you just shouldn't be playing Gores. And yeah, usually, like, this mind game stuff is just, is just like, a misplay, in my opinion. I don't know why people do it. Like, the reason people don't expect you to be playing Gores is 
because you shouldn't be playing gores but hey i mean maybe maybe it worked out well maybe it worked out well i don't really think that's good the the like halfway hybrid thing is kind of funny one deck dev one greffer one one extra value that 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 seems kind of neat maybe maybe one deck dev really is just like fine in these deck dev type decks because it does destroy a lot of things and even against the things it doesn't maybe it's like okay some of the time obviously against hero beats it's just gonna be trash 100 percent of the time probably but maybe maybe they'll just have a hand it's like diva honest something and you'll you'll feel really good there too i don't know um so there might be some merit to that but uh yeah interesting blackwing build we got here definitely definitely interesting another another extra with no fortress in it by the way i think what is this the i know fitz's deck didn't have fortress this one does this one obviously doesn't because it's dragon turbo and this one doesn't because they they're smoke screening so like three of the five decks so far or four of the five don't have fortress was that right yeah four of the five no fortress drag fortress dragon really falling out of style it might be mocking us time who knows all right next blackwing deck uh, i think this is the last blackwing deck so there were three of them in top eight which is pretty good performance definitely the best i think we've seen in a while for blackwings um this deck does have fortress dragon in it though um because it's more of like the normal wait is this just an exact copy of the first place uh, it's probably not exactly the main deck might be though because the monster lineup's the same i think the spell lineup's the same and i think the trap lineup may also be it might be one card off it looks like they're not on mirror force they're on the third d prison instead of mirror force so i think it's one card off i think it may only be one card off um so this is yande may of course not surprising to see yande may topping with black wings uh he does it quite pre frequently um yeah side and extra pretty standard i mean the main's pretty standard too like i said one card off of the first place list so uh very very similar stuff we have going on here so congratulations to yandave get another top eight performance um yeah moving on we're done with black wings now we can move on to the one frog deck that made it which was actually a pretty unusual frog build i guess We've definitely seen a bit more branching out and experimentation with frogs lately. It's not just been all hero frog all the time. Specifically, we've seen more people trying out Light and Darkness Dragon. Of course, Ronok kind of responsible for the proliferation of that. But this is just like a super heavy Monarch build with triple Econ, triple Solex. It is a lot. It is a lot of tribute monsters, for sure. They're on triple Kai's, triple Ryza, double Lad, double Festalos. Man, that's a lot of tribute monsters. That is a lot of tribute monsters for sure. I would, uh, that, that is wild. Okay. They're also on one Junk Sync run. No Roto, though. It's just like a random one off Junk Sync run. And then one Mother Grizzly. <laughs> what is this even here for? I don't know. I guess it gets you to, to substitute. So that's, that's kind of neat. I mean, hey, that's, that's something. Uh, so we already mentioned Triple Econ, Triple Solex. No creature swaps, though, so they didn't fully max out on the, the Yoink cards, but they got close. Uh, brain control as well. One for one to get to Toad. Um, then no none of the hero stuff, obviously, just Spell Trap removal, Regeki Break, and Mirror Force. Yeah, this is a pretty unusual frog build, um, but hey, they made a they made top eight with it. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, definitely, I think, warranted to see some of the experimentation and innovation with frogs lately. And this is an interesting build for sure. Uh, finalist in the top eight is gonna be Bayou Turbo. Yeah. Uh, wait, no. It's like the, it's Zach's build, right? I think. I think this is Zach's build. It's like the crazy full draw power, just like full turbo with magical merchants. I played this in a video because it won like a, a BCS tournament. Uh, with like, yeah, this, this build is crazy. It's not, it's not traditional Bayou Turbo. It's like all in Bayou. I don't know if it, if it has a name or something. Um, but yeah, triple Greffer, triple Armonite, uh, one Elf and double Soraka, triple Bayou. You got the small hero package with the Stratos, a double Mali, similar to Weladad there, actually. And then triple Caius, triple Magical Merchants. I still think this should just be Raikos, honestly, but whatever. Uh, and then yeah, you got the Plague Gardener, of course, very standard. The spell lineup, um, you have like the normal spells and then Car Destruction, for even more draw power and then you've got the sweepers with the cold wave giant trunade on top of heavy storm we got all that draw power with the reckless greeds and the upstarts and then the one other card is we got return and foolish just for even more even more gas this is just like all gas value turbo um and then the side deck looks like some 
It looks kind of like the Norlers Vayu side deck, actually, like just triple deck dev, triple Mask of Restrict. We got those Royal Oppressions in there as well, some Vanities Fiends, Snipe Hunter. <laughs> Yo, I didn't even realize there were not even maining Gores in here, huh? All right, we got, yeah, so Gores off on the side, Snipe Hunter. Yeah, and then the Typhoon also in the side, that makes sense, so. Yeah, uh, actually, I don't even know if this counts as like a Vayu Turbo Top. This is basically just a different deck. Um, it's like, I don't know, we'll, it's not like the Norlaris Vayu, but it's just like a a different kind of super all-in. Like, if anything, we should call this deck Vayu Turbo, and the other deck should just be like Vayu Normal, you know, Vayu Regular. This is the true, the true Vayu Turbo. So, uh, yeah, Zach managing to perform again with the same Vayu list. So maybe that suggests that there is a, there's something to it. Maybe it does. Uh, two pretty good finishes in a row. I mean, can't, can't really scoff at that. So that is going to wrap up the top eight lists, uh, for this video. Um, yeah, always, uh, always pretty fun to go over these. Always, always great to get my very insightful commentary. So, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought in the comment section. I'll see you in the next one. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Furthermore, if you enjoy my content, you should think about becoming a channel member. You get access to tons of bonus content, and it's a great way to help support the channel.